Hi, it's Noelle Austin. So um, the first thing I noticed um, through the Designs Art Institute was when you walk in from the main front entrance off of Michigan Avenue, you have to pass through the Asian art and you can go to the right and like go through that. Um, but through the side door, you more see the ancient Roman art and you can either go straight to European or turn to the Asian art again. So I thought it was kind of interesting, um, but that those two European and Asian art were definitely central focuses of the museum um, versus you kind of have to go digging to find like African art, Native art, Native American art, sorry, or Egyptian art, stuff like that, or modern art even is way up, upstairs. Um, another piece of the part of the architecture that caused me to value the art was a Japanese room that said it had twelve pillars to um, reflect what a true Japanese home would look like um, in the in that time, which I thought was really interesting um, to walk through and like see kind of art that they would have in their house and the structure of their house in general. I thought it was also interesting how. Some pieces of artwork had glass around them, while others did not. Like, you could technically touch it, I guess. Um, which leads me to say, if no one was watching, I might be more tempted to touch some of the art, like, to examine it, um, see, like, how it was made, what it's made of, um, feel the textures and all of that. Um, I also thought it was interesting, like, when there was people watching, technically we were allowed to take pictures, but then I learned that we're not allowed to take videos, um, which I think is kind of interesting. I don't know why pictures are allowed, but videos aren't. Um, but if no one was watching, I probably would be more tempted to take a video. Um, overall, I felt that the Art Institute is like a very peaceful place and, you know, you do have to change how you act, um, like the body language and how you should speak. Everyone's quiet, everyone's kind of contemplating and observing, you want to be respectful to those who are being quiet. Um, and I would say overall, also, um, I liked uh, the ancient art more, especially when they like represented old ways of doing like the same things we do today, such as there was like a mirror made out of stone um, for, by Native Americans, which I thought was really cool. And also just I love like the intricacy of the art and how it, yes, it looks pretty, but when you think about the actual time and effort and talent that went into each piece, it's really amazing, especially like with religion in terms of that, these pieces were probably super, super meaningful to the artists and just um, the people who also appreciated them because they were created like with thoughts of worship and holiness and celebrating their religion. So yeah, it was just a very cool experience.